Hello and thank you for your interest in the NTU School of Biological Sciences. My name is Marek Mutzel and I'm the Assistant Chair for Outreach. Today, I'll be sharing with you the unique aspects of our school and the programs and initiatives that we offer. Some of you may ask, why study biology? Well, biology is a study of all living things and it's a key to help us become more sustainable, to fight climate change and to lead long and healthy lives. Biology is a quest for understanding where you use quantitative and analytical reasoning, modeling and problem solving to understand the inner workings of living things. Studying biology will also allow you to acquire basic transferable skills that are useful in many different professions, not just in science. But why biology at SBS? Well, we help you to ground your fundamentals in a fixed core while giving you the flexibility to pick electives of your interest. Our internships, exchange and alumni sharing will help you prepare for the job market by exposing you to valuable experiences and strengthening your network. We also recognize the importance of data science to prepare you for the future. Let me tell you more about this. Our main program is a four-year direct honors degree in biological sciences. We have also a number of second and double major programs that allow you to focus specifically on topics that you're really interested in. The main differences between second and double majors is the number of academic units or AUs that you have to clear. The second major only takes up about 30% of the total AUs, while double major programs have equal weightages on both majors. Zooming in on our second majors, we have one in medicinal chemistry and pharmacology, allowing you to take a number of chemistry courses in School of Chemistry, Chemical Engineering and Biotechnology. This trains you in a wide variety of areas that are related to medicinal chemistry and pharmacology and prepares you for careers in research and development in a variety of sectors associated with things like drug and vaccine development and more. Next is our second major in biomedical and structural biology that focuses on the structural basis of things like drug discovery and design, vaccine design and protein engineering. This tool prepares you for careers in research and development, in biomedical startups, pharmaceutical companies, and so forth. Another second major that we have is in food science and technology, that is an interdisciplinary program training you in food science, processing, and engineering, thus allowing you to pursue jobs in food-related industries. We partner with Wageningen University in Netherlands, that is very well known for their food sciences programs. The latest addition to our portfolio is the second major in uh, data analytics. This will give you a foundation in mathematics, statistics and algorithms, as well as data mining, visualization and management. This allows students to pick electives across different schools in the College of Science and College of Engineering. This new program will enable you to analyze big data in biology to gain a systems understanding of biology. We also have double majors programs. As I mentioned before, the double major programs have equal weightages and they cover two different disciplines, one related to biological sciences and the other non-science discipline. For example, psychology is from the humanities discipline, while by business is from the business discipline. All programs require you to complete an internship in the third year with final year project in the fourth year as an option. However, for double major programs, the final year project is compulsory. In these two programs, we not only look at your academic achievements, but also at your attitude, relevant experiences and passion for those subjects. But since the majors are of the same weightage, we have to make sure that you are able to cope with the workload too. You will need to go through interviews for us to assess whether you are the right match for the programs. For these two double major programs, you have the option to take on the NTU Duke NUS Medicine Pathway, suitable for students who want to be clinicians with additional opportunities in biobusiness and psychology. The Biological Sciences and Psychology double major, in partnership with NTU Schools of Humanities Division of Psychology, studies the brain via two tracks, neurology and psychology. As for the biobusiness major, it is different from the regular business studies, although the general business principles apply. Biobusiness is more specific to healthcare industry, as it covers topics such as bioentrepreneurship and regulation, whereas business as minor covers topics such as accounting and marketing. 
For this, we work with Copenhagen Business School in Denmark, where you will spend your year for semester one. This is not an exchange, but part of the curriculum. Lastly, the double degree in Biomedical Sciences and Chinese Medicine is a five-year program in collaboration between NTU and the Beijing University of Chinese Medicine, one of the top universities in China. Undergraduates of this program combine modernized Chinese medicine with biomedical sciences and also study research and development in the field of healthcare and life sciences. A new program introduced university-wide is the work-study degree consisting of four work terms taken within your four years of study. In addition to being awarded with your credits, you will also gain exposure to the industry while completing your degree, thus enhancing your employability after graduation. Take note that in our school, this pathway is only open to single degree undergraduates. We know how important data science is, so on top of the new second major in data analytics program, our biological sciences curriculum is designed with digital, computational and statistical literacy in mind. You will gain invaluable knowledge and skills in programming, allowing you to pursue topics in machine learning and AI. This will hone your analytical skills and allow you to work with big data, which is becoming important in many aspects of biology and many other disciplines. Thus, you will pick up many core skills such as scientific knowledge, lab and research skills, and communication and business skills too. SBS uses a unique outcomes-based teaching and learning approach, which is called OBTL. OBTL is a way of teaching where we clearly identify what we would like you to learn from the start and we frame everything else about the courses in the curriculum to meet those goals. We communicate with you very clearly about the course goals and requirements, and we provide constant feedback to help you achieve your aims. In addition to OBTL, we also frequently use cutting-edge approaches such as flipped classrooms, smart classrooms, and blended learning. During vacation breaks, we hold one-week intensive small class workshops known as Undergraduate Advanced Experimental Biology or UAEB program that is exclusive to students from SBS. This initiative gives you an exciting taste of hands-on research and is a unique opportunity to advance your skill set in specific areas of biology. We also have an internship that you experience in your third year. We partner with many different places across Singapore and the world that allow you to have this internship experience in a wide variety of workplaces and research institutions. This will allow you to focus on your interests and career goals and we help you to find the best match uh, to prepare you, you for your internship and we have an entire office here at the NTU to get you started. In addition, we offer exchange programs where we partner with over 150 universities around the world so you can tailor your program of study. You can go to places that you have always wanted to go, study with new people in new parts of the world and gain some new and memorable experiences. You will also have uh, the option to take a minor in any discipline that you're interested in, together with uh, your degree in biological sciences. Finally, if you're interested in biological sciences but do not want a degree in biology, we offer non-SBS students a minor in life sciences. Thus, at SBS, you will have many opportunities to tailor your education to your needs. These are just a few examples of the companies our students had their internships at. And as you can see, there are many choices ranging from cancel to plant science. And here are some of our alumni and their internship workplace. And as you can see, their internship can take place in industry, hospitals, research institutes within Singapore and abroad. You can scan the top right to read more about their experiences at SBS and their internship. So Shiva here took up an industrial internship in business development and open innovation, where he learned how to work as a member of a multidisciplinary team of researchers. Here we have Hashmath, who was a food microbiologist intern at NCFS. Next, we have international exchange opportunities which you can choose to do in years three and four. This will allow you to experience other cultures and make new friends overseas. Here, you can read more about Peck Yilings International Exchange in South Korea. Finally, here we have Rachel, who did her exchange in Sweden and her final year project overseas at Harold. 
At the School of Biological Sciences, we have nine research focuses. You can find out more about each focus and different labs working on those focuses by scanning the QR code on the top right. The faculty members, also known as profs, are leaders in their field of research and are from all over the world. For example, UK, US, China, Poland, Korea, and more. Our profs are working on a wide variety of topics, ranging from viruses to plants and animals, and you'll have several opportunities to work in their labs through internships, attachments, and the final year projects. For example, Associate Professor Miao Yang Song works on topics addressing Singapore's food technology, safety, and sustainability. Here, 23 undergrads and I develop a database to help fungi researchers study gene function in these essential components of our ecosystems. Finally, Assistant Professor Melissa contributed to cancer research that hopefully can aid in developing new drugs to target cancer silencers. The next slides showcase the different career paths and workplaces of our alumni, for example, in healthcare institutions and biomedical and pharmaceutical companies, such as Singapore General Hospital and Johnson & Johnson. In the public sector, for example, Ministry of Health or Singapore Police Force, or your own business as an owner of TCM Clinic. And in banking, for example, Citibank, in postgraduate studies as a PhD student, and many, many other careers. In the 2020 graduate employment survey, our school's employment rate was 88.9%, uh, where 10% of students pursued postgraduate degree. Out of those who were employed, 42.6% received multiple job offers. Furthermore, Half of them already accepted a job one month before their graduation. Around 70% of the alumni work in biology-related jobs, such as healthcare, scientific research and development, pharmaceutical manufacturing and education. Our alumni work as research officers, laboratory technicians, medical scientists, and a variety of other positions. Around 20% of the alumni work with non-biology-related positions. So, biology education at SBS prepares you for a wide variety of careers. We hold alumni sharings for undergraduates to network and learn from the alumni about their careers. This gives you ample opportunities to strengthen your network, learn from the experiences of our alumni, and better understand what kind of jobs are available for you. Here is Dr. Kuchi Wai, one of our alumni who graduated in the class of 2009 as our third batch of undergraduates. Fast forward to 2022, and he is now a senior resident at Sync Health under the Opgen residency program. Here are some more examples of the different career paths of our alumni. Chao Qingping is a managing director at Gene Data, one of the leading software companies in data analytics in life sciences. Fadvin Deep is a senior scientist and microscopy lead at Nano Imaging, a premier industry provider in microscopy. Glendon, who graduated in 2015, is now a teacher at Temasek Junior College. Here are some uh, more of our recent alumni. Irene followed her passion in forensic science and is now a senior crime scene specialist working at HDX. Marco is now a medical student at Duke and US Medical School. He holds a degree in biological sciences with a second major in medicinal chemistry and pharmacology. As shared previously, the double majors programs in our school give you a greater advantage to enroll at the Duke and US Medical School. So if you do well and are passionate about what you do, you can be become a medical student too. Zhe Ching Kong became a management consultant and SBS has helped him hone his problem solving skills and now he's helping clients solve their problems. Lastly, life in SBS is not all about study. We have a student-run club called the Biological Sciences Club that organizes a wide variety of fun events. In addition, you can join the SBS Hackathon and hone your programming and data analytics skills while working on a project of your own design. We also have an SBS Sports Day if you're into sports. Recently, we have established our very own home system called Clades. There are a total of four Clades 
inch consisting of undergrads from different programs at SBS. Each clade is managed by a student clade leader to help further enhance your experiences here and expand your network. Should you face any challenges in school or in your life, we have a team of dedicated faculty and staff for you to reach out to. Our student support team and the faculty super mentors are here to aid you if you face any academic, financial or mental well-being challenges. All right, thank you for joining us today. We are really excited about our program and hope that you are too. Feel free to reach out to us or connect to us uh, via social media platforms. We hope to see you soon. Bye.